unleashing the phenomenon, the rise of Kylian Mbappe, the youngest World Cup final goal scorer since Pele himself, while being a World Cup winner in his teenage years, there are only a few things that the superstar hasn't done in world football, and he has done more than a decade still to go in his career. Not many teenagers can say they won their country a World Cup, but Kylian Mbappe Lotin isn't just any teenager. Kylian Mbappe, the French football sensation, was born on December 20, 1998, in the Parisian suburb of Bondi. His father, Wilfred Mbappe, was a football coach, and his mother, Faiza Lamari, was a former handball player. Growing up in a tough neighborhood known for its high crime rates, Mbappe learned to be tough and determined from a young age. He became playing football at four, and his talent quickly became apparent. By age six, he was playing for a local team, A.S. Bondi. Mbappe's speed and skill on the ball were remarkable, and he quickly began attracting attention from scouts at top clubs across Europe. However, his parents were determined to keep him grounded and focused on his education, which they believed was just as important as his football. Despite his talent, Mbappe was not immune to setbacks. When he was 13 years old, he was released from the youth academy at A.S. Bondi for being too small and physically underdeveloped. However, rather than giving up, Mbappe used rejection as motivation to work harder and prove his doubters wrong beginning of football career. He eventually transferred to the Clairefontaine Academy, delivering several impressive performances that garnered the attention of French clubs and global giants like Real Madrid, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, and Bayern Munich. Real Madrid invited Mbappe to train with their under-12s and visit the club's facilities when he was 11 years old, and he also played a game for Chelsea's youth team against Charlton Athletic at age 14. Ultimately, Mbappe decided to sign with Monaco. In October 2015, Monaco's coach Leonardo Jardim enlisted Mbappe as a regular player in their B team. Still, after only three weeks, his exceptional skill and maturity prompted him to be promoted to the preliminary squad. On December 2, 2015, he debuted for the first team as a substitute for Fabio Contrao in a 1-1 League 1 home draw against Kain, breaking Thierry Henry's record to become Monaco's youngest first team player at 16 years and 347 days. Mbappe scored his first goal for Monaco's first team on February 20, 2016 in a 3-1 home league one win over Troyes, becoming the youngest first team goal scorer in the club's history at the age of 17 years and 62 days, breaking Thierry Henry's record once again. On March 6, 2016, he signed his first professional contract with Monaco, a three-year deal that kept him with the league one club until June 2019. Vadim Vasiliev, AS Monaco's vice president who played a crucial role in Mbappe's signing, stated in an interview with CNN that he recognized early on that Mbappe was a phenomenon. Breakthrough with Monaco It was only a matter of time before Mbappe entered Monaco's team. After that, the goals started flowing like water for him and the team. Mbappe scored the first League One hat-trick of his career in the 5-0 home win over Metz. At 18 years and 2 months, he became the youngest player to score a League One hat-trick since Jeremy Menez did it for Sochao back in 2005. During the first leg of the UEFA Champions League round of 16 matches against Manchester City, on February 21, Mbappe scored his first ever goal in the UEFA Europa League or UEFA Champions League. He received a long ball from Fabinho and, with a half volley, he struck Monaco's second goal in the 40th minute. This made him the second youngest French scorer in the history of the UEFA Champions League behind Karim Benzema. Unfortunately, despite Mbappe's goal, Monaco lost the game 5-3. In the 2016-2017 season, Monaco emerged as League One champions and Mbappe played a significant role by scoring 26 goals in 44 matches across various competitions. Mbappe acknowledged the contribution of his teammate Radamel Falcao in shaping his performance that season. Falcao helped him to develop composure and tranquility during matches, enabling him to showcase his skills. Mbappe admitted that he liked these qualities earlier and Falcao's guidance was instrumental in improving his game. Transfer to PSG in August 2017, Paris Saint-Germain, PSG announced that Mbappe would join them on loan from Monaco. The decision was partly influenced by a persuasive speech given by PSG coach Unai Emery, where the player's father was concerned about his son's starting spot in Real Madrid. Mbappe was eager to join a prestigious club where he could guarantee a regular spot in the starting lineup, especially with the World Cup approaching in a year. Reports suggested that PSG would have to pay a transfer fee of 145 million euros plus 35 million euros in add-ons if they wanted to secure his services permanently. This deal made him the most expensive teenager ever and potentially the second most expensive player, following teammate Neymar Jr. Upon his arrival in Paris, Mbappe was given the number 29 jersey. Mbappe achieved a significant milestone on December 6 by scoring his 10th Champions League goal, 
During a 3-1 loss to Bayern Munich, he became the youngest player at 18 years and 11 months to reach that feat. In addition, he helped PSG win the 2017-2018 Coupe de France by playing a crucial role in their 2-0 victory against Les Herbiers on May 8, 2018, making his first league title with the club. The subsequent season proved exceptional for both Mbappe and PSG, with Mbappe winning the Copa Trophy and League One Player of the Year while he clinched the League One title. However, even bigger success awaited him in the summer of 2018. World Cup Triumph On May 17, 2018, Mbappe was called to the French squad for the FIFA World Cup in Russia. Mbappe created history on June 21, 2018 by scoring his first goal in the World Cup against Peru, leading France to a 1-0 victory. At 19, he became the youngest French player to score in the World Cup. Mbappe's stellar performance continued on June 30, 2018, when he was named man of the match for his contributions in France's 4-3 victory over Argentina. He scored two goals and was fouled in a penalty box, resulting in a goal for Antoine Griezmann. With this feat, Mbappe became the second teenager to score two goals in a World Cup match, with Pelé being the first in 1958. Despite receiving such accolades, Mbappe humbly acknowledged in a post-match conference that Pelé belongs to a different league. Being the second player to achieve this feat after him was an honor. Further success with PSG and additional individual accolades PSG was declared the League 1 champions on May 1, 2020, after the season was prematurely suspended due to the COVID-19 pandemic. PSG led the table at the time of suspension with a 12-point lead over Marcel. Mbappe had an impressive season, scoring 18 goals and finishing as the joint top scorer in League 1 alongside Monaco's Wissam Ben Yedder. However, PSG lost to Bayern Munich 1-0 in the Champions League final on August 23rd. Although the loss was a setback for Mbappe, it was the closest he had ever been to winning the Champions League trophy. Mbappe's contract with PSG was extended until 2025 on May 21, 2022, despite rumors of a possible transfer to Real Madrid, which led to La Liga officials filing a complaint with UEFA over PSG's accumulated losses in recent years. Mbappe himself personally informed Real Madrid's president, Florentino Perez, during a conversation that he would not be joining the club. As per Sky Sports, Mbappe's new contract includes a monthly salary of £4 million, making him the highest paid player in the world in the Coupe de France round of 32 matches against Pays de Cassel on January 23, 2023. Mbappe made history by becoming the first PSG player to score five goals in a game, including a 10 minute hat trick in a 7 0 victory. Second successive World Cup final France began their journey in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final against Australia on November 22, 2022. Mbappe played a crucial role in France's 4-1 win, contributing to three of the four goals. He was involved in the build-up of the second goal, and Morocco in the quarterfinals and semifinals in the 2022 World Cup final against Argentina. France was trailing 2-0 with just over 10 minutes remaining. Mbappe then made history by scoring a hat-trick, becoming only the second player to achieve this feat in a World Cup final. Although Argentina retook the lead in extra time with a goal from Mbappe's PSG teammate Messi, Mbappe brought France level again by converting a penalty with four minutes left. The match then went to a penalty shootout where Mbappe successfully scored its penalty, but France ultimately lost. With eight goals, Mbappe won the tournament's golden boot and became the sixth highest goal scorer in World Cup history with 12 goals tied with Pelé. Mbappe discussed a time interview from 2018, how he sacrificed his teenage years to focus on developing his football skills, stating that he missed out on typical adolescent experiences such as spending time with friends and having fun. Despite this, Mbappe noted that he is content when he lives his life he always envisioned, although his life has been transformed since his debut as a professional footballer just over four years ago, and he has gained over 50 million followers on Instagram, he says he's satisfied. Mbappe is fluent in French, English, and Spanish. Mbappe has a lot of milestones to hit in his career, but so far it has been stutter. We shall wait to see how the rest of his career pans out because in the near future, he could well be standing on the Ballon d'Or podium.